can we talk about the great replacement theory now? Um, some of the things that you post, the great replacement theory, you claim that Democrats, President Biden's immigration plan to open up the border, you said that they're, the president is getting, and Democrats are doing it, to get more votes. Um, but undocumented immigrants cannot vote in federal elections, so how is that possible? Right. Um, well, you're conflating two things. One is great replacement theory. Uh, the other is, which I, I don't subscribe to that. I'm simply saying that there is an incentive here. Uh, if uh, legal immigrants, which I think have a, a very strong bias to, at least everything I've read, it's a very strong bias to vote Democrat, um, the, the more, more that come into the country, the more they're likely to vote uh, in that direction. But it, it is, in my view, uh, and the, a simple incentive to increase uh, voters to Democrat voters. Um, uh, and yeah, so the so question is like how? So there's, there's, a, few, there's a, a few ways of, uh, that this works. One is that uh, when the census is done, uh, the census is based on all, all people in an area, whether they are citizens, citizens or not. So uh, if there are a concentration of uh, people who came here illegally in, in, a, in a particular state or uh, in any particular state, that state will actually then get uh, an increased number of House seats. So the, the House seat apportionment is proportionate to the number of people, not the number of citizens. So the, 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 the illegals overwhelmingly go to places like California and New York. Um, and the, if you just look at the, look at the math, if, if, if you look at the apportionment with and without illegals, I believe California would lose I believe, I believe the blue state, there would be a net loss of blue states of approximately 20 seats in the House. Now, this also applies to the, the Electoral College. So you say, like, well, this also applies to, to electing the president because the, the, the same, the electoral votes are also done by, by apportionment the same way that House seats are done. But the reason, Elon, the Electoral College is in place is to to balance that is so that that doesn't happen. So what you're saying about it is the exact opposite of the reason yeah. why the, the Electoral College is there. The Electoral College at this point, it, at this point in, in our history, gives people who are in smaller states and red states much more of an influence over our elections than people who are in blue states and the majority of the people in this country. That's what the Electoral College does. It actually does the exact opposite of what you're saying. It protects people who are in smaller states and protects people who are in red states. Well, um, who, the red I, states I, because I, they I, tend I, to I, be I smaller think, and, and think, less populous. I think that that's, that's, that statement is, is uh, what, what you said is, is true, but what I said is also true, uh, which is that uh, if, uh, if, as is the case, a disproportionate number of legal immigrants go to uh, blue states, they amplify the effect of a, of a blue state vote. And the math, as I understand it, and you can research this obviously very easily on there, it's, it's like, it's, it's pretty straightforward to, to research this. But my understanding is that there would be, uh, that, that the, the Democrats would lose approximately 20 seats in the House uh, if illegals were not counted in census. And that's also 20 less electoral votes for president. So the legals absolutely do affect the, the uh, who controls uh, the House of the House and who controls uh, the presidency. It does not affect uh, the Senate. 